I am Julian Kelly, as Mark said. I'm the Director General of Public Spending and Finance in the Treasury, which uh, put simply, I think means, uh, I always think of myself as, in my current job, I'm like the Chief Financial Controller for Government. So I kind of head the bit of the Treasury that looks after public spending. When I was asked, you know, can you come and talk about public value? Well, in one sense, uh, you know, at the heart of the objectives that sort of I have each and every day is how do we, you know, help this government make the public, you know, get the public finances back onto a sustainable footing. And within whatever, you know, however big the pie is they've decided to set for spending, how do we help make sure or, you know, do the best job that we can to give taxpayers the best value from that spend. Now, the story of this picture is really very simple, right? As compared to where we were in 2007, it turns out we are significantly poorer. So the problem we've been working off is how do we get you know, the public finances back onto a more sustainable path? We're a poorer economy structurally. You know, we're not expecting that sort of 16% difference to come back. So at some point, you know, you've got to face up to, to the fact you've got to address this issue. Finance uh, teams play a key role, but actually it's the partnership of finance with our commercial colleagues, with our, you know, IT uh, technology colleagues, with operational uh, managers, with ministers, with policy makers, and actually it's making those teams work where you bring all of the kind of expertise together to help and support, I mean, often the operational managers, who are the ones who've actually got to go out and often tell people they, they, you know, they no longer have a job or you know, have completely reconfigured the way we, have just, we are running a, a prison uh, or whatever else uh, it might be. And actually, we've got to really build on the foundation that we've laid so far. And as I think about the finance function, you know, the first question that I've always got in my head is, this is fundamentally going to be about the people that we've got. Okay, and their ability to bring and gather together the analysis and the intelligence that you get from uh, the data on what you're spending it, where you're spending it, how you're spending it, how it fits with what we're actually delivering, how it fits with you know, the sort of economic analysis that we do of kind of what works and what doesn't work. You know, it's, it's, it's going to depend on people who can bring that stuff together, explain it and communicate it really clearly, and then help, you know, uh, operational policy, ministerial colleagues work through, okay, from all of that, what's the next decision we should make about what we should do and what we should not do? And as I was kind of reading again today uh, the management accounting principles which uh, SEMA are l launching, where you know, it talks about a stewardship and trust and relevance and influence. And actually all of that only works, the trust, the relevance and the influence if we've got the right people. And certainly as head of the government finance function, one of the things I'm spending most of my time on is just thinking, have we got the right people? And are we developing uh, the, the right people? And are they capable of not just, you know, pulling the information together, but thinking about how they communicate it clearly, uh, relevantly, of building relationships uh, such that, you know, they have the respect and trust of my policy colleagues and in particular of, of our kind of ministerial uh, colleagues. And then, you know, just I, re I really do think finance has an incredibly privileged role, not just within the public sector, I suspect it's elsewhere. You know, it's one of the few times when we look across the piece of everything that we're doing and you get people to make the choices across everything and the trade offs that are uh, involved. There are very few other times when you really do that, other than when you're budget planning, business planning. And you know, getting people to look things through the kind of finance lens uh, is an incredibly powerful tool. It's an incredibly privileged position to have. But it means you, I, my colleagues really have a responsibility to think, right, how am I bringing not just the finance information, but the other information together to make really good, uh, intelligent uh, decisions? How do we consistently raise our game? And for me, it is about good people. Uh, providing good information off the back of good systems and processes to the right people at the right time to really make good decisions. And some of this we've just got to grind out in the detail. You know, it's actually, 
enabling people to get really into the detail of what does it cost to run the, the services we provide. And as I said before, this is not just about the finance side, but it's about the finance folk managing to corral others, you know, to drive that agenda forward.